I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. All right, let's get into your collective reading here from the time you were listening to this reading going into the middle of November. See what the energies are playing out for the collective. Okay, you're starting with the golden mirror. Okay, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, uh, talking. Okay, interesting interested conversing more awaited a mess an awaited message arrives text call email hoovering oh okay hmm very interesting let's see what else hold on one second i just want to maybe not have such a blue glare going on here okay so it looks like you have somebody swinging back around whom, okay, this is, yeah, okay, pretty, pretty obvious. Looks like, um, <clears throat> oh boy, looks like you're getting the love bomb. Someone, um, hmm, this is going to be a tough reading for you guys. So it looks like maybe you've been waiting to hear from someone for quite some time that probably ghosted or gave you the silent treatment, someone you don't expect to be reaching out to you or yeah uh definitely it's going to be a shock to hear from this person they are saying this is someone who could be a narc or narcissist or it's just one-sided you're, you're getting hoovered which if you don't know the term this is just somebody who is orbiting and they just kind of come back around like they disappear for a while and then they come back around see how you're doing start love bombing giving you all this attention that kind of thing um so you're gonna get a text or a phone call or an email from this person and it says a weighted message arrives so i don't know if you know if this person is like an actual self-absorbed narcissist um because if you know that, you probably aren't waiting, but some some of you might be kind of, you could be kind of hooked on that energy. Sometimes that happens. I'm not calling anybody out, but I'm just, that's the message that I'm getting here. Okay. Or maybe you don't know. They're just someone who kind of just goes in and out of your life, like a chaser runner kind of energy. All right. Let's see what else is showing up here. Yeah. So, Okay. So with lightning, that is like a tower kind of energy. So I do feel like this, this is going to be a surprise. Definitely. So I feel like, look at this. You've got the eight of pentacles. So you'll be working, you'll be busy, not even paying attention, just doing your everyday kind of thing. And this person just shows up out of the blue. You will be so distracted and so focused you won't be looking. I feel like when they when they come in, <clears throat> you won't be sitting in a position where you're trying to figure out where, you won't be thinking about them when they show up. I don't feel like you'll be thinking about them at all. You'll be focusing on something else. Well, there's a sign. You'll be, <laughs> there's your sign. You'll be thinking about something else. You'll be doing something else, completely distracted focused on other things and yeah you're gonna get that text alert it's just gonna come in okay yeah want to get together with you reunite have a reunion they want to see you and look we've got a pumpkin here at the bottom so definitely going to be from now through the middle of october or the middle of november yes 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 okay yeah, it's been a while. 
yes and there might be this you know where have you been kind of thing happening here making some kind of offer you know um they're definitely going to come in and make some kind of offer to get together um something here like i've been thinking about you i've been thinking about things wondering what you've been doing i'm gonna have some free time coming up just wondering like if you want to get together that kind of thing i'm wondering if oh yeah if you want to kind of steal away um <laughs> if you want to go away with me sneak out sneak around like this is a sneaky energy yeah okay um <laughs> okay steal away for a weekend this is like this is always a little r and r um kind of getting together something to do with sleeping with you as well um sneaking around getting together sleeping spending some time together in bed yeah definitely some energy okay i was waiting for a court card to show up so there you go so king of swords coming through gemini aquarius libra now the energy of this person in the air doesn't necessarily mean it's their sun sign okay but it does show up as someone who is <clears throat> coming in very clear and direct crystal clear very clear and direct in their communication um where you like I don't feel like you've spoken with this person if they've been giving you like the silent treatment or if they've just been if like they, they've been ghost they've been they've been ghost like they ran away okay and they've been ghost with this seven of swords so they've been deceptive okay it's kind of like if you've reached out to them and they haven't responded um they've they were in runner's mode. They have been. They were running away. They've just been not responding, okay? Because it's just been, I don't know, they've been up to some tricks or for kids kind of energy. Um, and now, now they want to talk. Now they want to talk to you. And why? Oh, look at this. There's a Knight of Cups. And as I always say, knights are fleeting. Knights are always on the move. So this is someone who's very charming. They're coming into charm and love bomb. Make some kind of love offer. Yeah, it's very shocking. It's unexpected. There's the tower. I feel like you, you just need to be aware of this. Um, now, some of you are aware of this energy and you know that this is going to happen. And some of you are kind of already prepared. And if you're not prepared for this... Um, just keep in the back of your mind this person's got their hoover vacuum out and they're ready to just suck you dry so i don't like that the first card out was the narc card i don't and i don't like going down that road because that whole narcissism thing it exists it's a real thing for a while there it got out of hand it was all over youtube and now people aren't talking about it as much and I'm kind of glad because a lot of people were like turning around. Everybody was a narcissist. I mean, I think I will say this. I just feel like this is a one-sided thing. I don't know what someone's psychological diagnosis is, but let's just keep it simple. It's just a one-sided thing. It's just someone who is very self-absorbed, very egotistical, and they dictate and it has to be on their terms. So whatever that makes them, you decide. But I feel like... <clears throat> they've been ghosts and they've been sneaking around and not really available and now they're all of a sudden going to be available for you okay all of a sudden okay page of pentacles knight of swords the chariot yeah ten of pentacles all right be careful with this too because i do feel like this person is really going to love bomb hard um, tell you about some kind of gifts they got you um, tell you about their plans and their ideas they've made some kind of change in their life um, tell you about a new car they bought tell you about an inheritance all this money they came into they bought a new home um, tell you about this investment that they made a lot of money on they're really gonna like prop themselves up and try to sell themselves to you definitely it's not just 
it's not just love bombing in the sense of like telling you how great you are. I feel like they're going to tell you how great they are <laughs> and try to sell you on on wanting to be with them, which is kind of like love bombing themselves. It's weird. Um cuz love bombing is generally reserved for the person you're love bombing. Um they're reserving it for themselves. So rather than trying to uh, sweeten you up they're going to sweeten themselves up to try to draw you in <laughs> you know they're going to put themselves on a pedestal so that you'll just be like a moth to a flame like ooh, that's amazing you're so amazing <laughs> instead of them telling you how amazing you are they're going to get you to tell them how amazing they are <laughs> what the all right, all right, that's one tactic. Okay, that's what I feel like. Okay, I guess either works. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, hey, I'm, or, or hey, I, can, I have all this money, all these ideas, I'm going to buy you a car, I can buy you a home, I can do, I have all this money. There's like, I don't even know. Oh, well, where have I been? Well, this is what I've been doing. I, I got this great new business I started, or I have all these great plans. They're going to tell you about all this all these ideas and all these, the, how they have all the, these ducks in all these different places. They put them all in a row and they've got all these, all these, they got all their bases covered, right? But nobody's a bat. That's the thing. You know, like all having all your bases covered doesn't mean shit if you don't have anyone at bat. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel like those bases are going to stay covered and nothing's going to move until someone's on home plate and is going to swing and hit the ball. Nothing's going to happen. There's no one at home plate. Like, hello, McFly. Nobody's home. Lights are on, but this person is not home. And you kind of, I feel like you kind of have to pay attention to what they're trying to sell you. That's the biggest thing. This person is going to try to sell you, kick the can, and sell you down the road here. And sell themselves down the road. Biggest message. Try to get you hooked. <clears throat> it's like, I don't know, dropping a New York strip steak on the hook down into the ocean. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a steak or a piece of hot dog. Don't take the bait. Because of the, on, the, on the other end... You're getting reeled in, and it's not pretty on the other side. Okay, let me see. Just a couple more messages here. It's not going to be a long message, because I honestly, I feel like the, it's just super, super strong here. It's going to be a shock. Some of you are not even going to expect this. Some of you are going to be like, damn, I thought this person was long gone. Really? It's been 10 years. <sighs> You're going to have to use your discernment. I mean, I feel like it's kind of easy if someone's trying to sell themselves because, I don't know, I feel like someone's like going overboard trying to sell themselves. I always feel like, man, you're a try hard. Why are you trying so hard? What's going on with you? Anyone, I feel like if anyone's trying so hard, I feel like there's a deep insecurity or that like, I mean, let me decide if I trust you and that takes time and you're going to have to show me, like, just let me figure that out, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. A couple more cards here for the collective. Pew. It's always something. It's always something. All right. King of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like this is your energy. So you got your wits about you. Now you could have earth in your chart somewhere. But I feel like you're pretty stable here. And I feel like you're going to be real practical about this thing, the way this person's coming in. I really feel like your energy, whatever your sign is, I feel like you're going to question and you're going to look at the facts. Like you are not going to be sold a dream. I do see that. You, you just kind of, I don't know. Maybe, I just feel like you're going to kind of look at everything here and say, you know, you have all these ideas. Look at the pile on the left. You have all these plans and all, all of these ideas. You want to buy six of those pentacles right there. But you want, like you want to buy you want to buy those six dishes. But all you have is one pentacle. I feel like you're going to take a look at that. Like you're really going to see that. You know what I mean? 
You can't afford to buy all this when you only have this. You can't, you know what I mean? But you're telling me you have all this. But you really only have this, you see? And not even. You know, it's just an idea. So I feel like you're going to look at this whole thing that this person is and you're and you're you're either going to like take some time to figure out and try to intuit what's really going on with this person or you're going to remember this this reading. Um and make a decision or you may just block them or just put them on block and just be like nah i'm not i'm not getting involved in that um or getting involved with this person this doesn't have to be like for some of you this doesn't have to be somebody that you knew this could be somebody new coming in um that you connect with that this energy like it's, it's a shock the way this person comes in <clears throat> and it's just the way they come in 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 general the way i explained it you know there's something off and whenever something is a little off and especially if it's off and you can't put your finger on what it is and you're you're like the vibe doesn't it just doesn't feel right that's when you should pay attention just don't don't negate the fact that you can't figure out what it is just the shell of the fact that you can't figure out what it is is the answer right there okay so yeah i feel like that's the strongest message here for you and this person whether you knew him before or is somebody new coming in trust your instinct okay all right so yeah definitely going to be some kind of either reunion or try to get together with you for sure during this time period okay let me see i just saw cupid's arrows so <clears throat> and which is the eight of wands which is a like total lots and lots of communication lots and lots of messages lots of love bombing themselves <laughs> okay yep they're coming in with this wealth health and abundance look how great i am look how well i'm doing okay it could be a loving older female or a loving older male um doing that whole love bombing thing okay and let's see a couple more cards here oh yeah no i i, I really want to be with you committed love relationship i want us to be together but this person a lustful fiery spirit in the reverse that's someone who is chaotic they're all over the place they're in and then they're out okay in and then they're out this is someone who is just they could be like personality is disordered or they have some like i know there's like a ton of stuff in the dsm and i don't know i'm not a doctor but there's just very unstable kind of energy from this person let me just get a charm for you guys all right so oh that's crazy you got a green star so that is significant for someone here I'm going to hold up the white card so you can see it. So a green star. Significant for someone. I'm not really sure. Green green does represent... Um, I feel, I, so, well, I know it... Re well, I know it represents um, something to do with fresh, being fresh. I feel like that... It's actually what I'm getting. But there's something here about... they're saying remember where you've come from they're saying something here about remember oh they're saying keep it green um don't forget so if you've had an experience with this person before don't get fooled again that's what i just heard don't get fooled again remember how things start with this person if there's a pattern see the pattern and there's something here to do with six points also they're saying six points i'm not sure what exactly that might mean but they're saying six points and something to do with green i'm gonna get another charm all right so they're giving you now <clears throat> A music symbol as well so there is a connection to music here with this person 
or for you. There's something here to do with harmony, music, lyrics, some type of song, or they could be connected to music, or there's a connection that you might have to music with this person. Maybe there, someone's a musician um, or a vocalist. There's some, some type of musical connection with this person. I just heard the name Jimmy or James as well. Or a, name, a letter starts with a J. Something significant with a, with a letter J. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope that message was helpful. Stay mindful. If you want to get a personal reading, as always, you can click the link in the description box. You can also join my OnlyFans for more explicit readings, um, tarot card readings. And yeah, I'm going to leave that there and I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. The only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the pee.